Welcome to our 2017 holiday video. I'm Steve Creddy, Plant City Bonsai, and we're having a beautiful day to shoot this video. I uh, wanted to start out with, uh, uh, I do not lots of landscaping, but when I can uh, uh, handle really interesting materials, uh, I really get kind of into it. So these are Hindu pan style conifers. Uh, takes several years to achieve these. They're absolutely beautiful. They're, it's one of those things that this one plant, one or two of these, will do the work of 20 other smaller plants. Now we're, we're going to show you something I'm really excited about. Uh, just in a second. For 30 years, I've dreamed of having a place to showcase my bonsai goods, and this year it's happened. Uh, now we're going to uh, give you a tour of our new sales office. I'm very excited this season. I, I planned a little bit better on having a, a, uh, a full supply of, of tools that I love selling at Christmas time. So we have a full run of tools right now. Uh, and. Uh, if you're close enough to drive here, uh, there are certain tools I like, and I would love to show them to you in person if you wanted to come here and try one out. Uh, it makes all the difference if you actually handle the tool, feel the quality of it, and uh, uh, because this is an investment for, for, for forever. We always try to carry the, uh, the upper quality figurines and hand finished pottery. Now that we have this cool office and sales area, it really shows them off better. So, very tickled to have this uh, have this new setup. Uh, just something uh, uh, different than bonsai. Uh, this is a uh, ikebana pot that I purchased uh, almost 30 years ago, and uh, uh, it it left here uh, for uh, with a, with a client uh, for many years. And I just recently purchased it back, so it's good. It's a, it's a very uh, unusual piece. It's cast iron. Uh, when I bought it from the bonsai master in North Carolina, it actually uh, still has the, the initial fracture that I that I knew about, and it, it's it's uh, totally intact. Other than that, and uh, another very unusual piece here with the dragon face. Unusual, very unusual shape. Here's something really different for uh, a Christmas gift idea, uh, for a per permanent gift for the per bonsai enthusiast. Uh, I have a complete collection of Bonsai Today magazines, one through 150. In other words, 150 issues. And uh, uh, they're all in fantastic condition. Uh, they were owned by one of my clients who took especially good care of them. They're uh, in fantastic condition. One, uh, very collectible. Two, super collectible. Uh, I used to say you could have a, a collection of one through 25 and actually uh, uh, do the art of bonsai. Now let's go look at some trees. I just released a small number of uh, dwarf uh, Japanese white pines, and uh, they're they're very nice. They don't tend to; they're actually a little bit better than the than the uh, group that we released last year. So I'm very excited about these. Here's a honey of a redwood. Uh, I, I love it because it uh, we have you have usable branches. Don't have to wait for them. So it's just a beautiful piece. I love the the base. The nabari is just incredible. Uh, I travel to uh, the Redwood Forest hopefully every year uh, to uh, be inspired and also I buy materials out there. So this kind of reminds me of the trees that uh, reside in the cabin that we stay at every year. We have some awesome sized redwoods uh, in this area here. Uh, they're perfect if you're building a redwood forest. Uh, it's easier sometimes to get the larger trees than the smaller ones, and I have diverse smaller sized trees for, for building a forest. And again, uh, 
uh, these are also very well branched. This group of trees are ball cypress and pine cypress, mainly ball cypress. Uh, I have uh, several different sizes for, for building a forest. Uh, you can build a seven tree forest and just feel fantastic about it. Uh, this tree in particular is ready to be put into a bonsai pot. It has uh, its apex developed, lots of branches. Uh, this should go in a pot this spring. Welcome to the Juniper Room. Uh, this guy here is an old uh, Ishi, Masishi tree from California. Uh, I purchased it in total, in, in raw form, and it was very leaned over. And uh, with the help of uh, uh, Kathy Shainer and, and people like Kathy, uh, we decided it needed to be a formal upright. And uh, this, it finally happened, and I'm very tickled with this tree. On our way to the raw material shimpaku, I wanted to mention some smaller trees from Mr. Ishii. Uh, these are the Kishu shimpaku, and I have a very nice selection. This makes a favorite gift for anyone. Shimpaku in raw form, uh, the popularity just keeps growing, and so I try to keep a, a number of, of nice, challenging project trees. And uh, as you can see, we have a number here to choose from. They're very affordable. Uh, make dramatic gifts. Procumbens Nana Junipers, uh, these were stake trees um, and uh, with the form that they've taken uh, in the angles that they're growing in, they're wonderful for literati. In fact, we had a specialized workshop this past summer on literati juniper and everyone was tickled with what they took home. You've seen the the uh, the nice array of uh, uh, the pre bones I tried at Maples that we have. I think the numbers are over 400, so there's lots to choose from. And I wanted just to mention these the, tried at Maple. If you don't aren't aware of their growth habit, they're very very fast growing. Uh, so these trees that are that are sometimes here's a smaller one that's about a 3 8 inch diameter trunk can change to this size in an incredibly short amount of time. Uh, these trees are probably two years older than this. It's just amazing. It's the uh, grandest maple for bonsai. Chinese elm. It's, it's, it's a practically a trouble-free tree. Uh, these are actually imported. Uh, we have them potted and unpotted. Very uh, reasonably priced tree to make a, a very dramatic gift. Uh, this is something that you rarely see. Beautiful fall color with a Chinese elm. They typically don't allow us that. These guys are Catoni Ester, uh, a favorite for the last several years. And fortunately, they do their, their uh, uh, blooming early, so the berries form. And by this time of year, they're showing beautiful, their beautiful red color. Uh, they're just uh, easy care. I love them. One of my newest additions is this wonderful lace rock. Lace rock comes from Utah. It's naturally craggy. It's the perfect stone to use to create mountain plantings. And this demonstrates that so perfectly. Uh, it's just, uh, we did three rock planting classes this past summer and they were all well attended. It's something you can just really get into. It's, it's the fun class. Uh, I have a very nice number of, of stones that are not planted yet. It's be beginning in, in the spring, we'll have uh, at least three more classes uh, creating the, the uh, rock planting, mountain planting. We usually do our outro with uh, the Redwood Forest. And this year is no exception. Uh, thank you for taking the time to view this video. Uh, hope you all have a happy holiday and hope you're able to come to my nursery.